This is another video brought to you by The Ichiban Productions Like, comment, subscribe So welcome everyone, happy days are here again We're back and this time we've got another review Looking at the Amazon Smart Plug Is it any good and how does it stand up to the Smart Things Smart Plug? I'm not sure this product needs any uh, explaining or understanding, but for those of you that aren't too sure, basically what you do is you plug it in, and what it does, it makes whatever's plugged into it smart. And by smart, it basically means it can turn on and off manually with that little button there, or you can turn it on and off with the Amazon app, or of course you can use your voice with Big A, and she'll turn it on and off. You can also set up routines and other things that trigger once this turns on and off, or triggers it to turn on and off. There are lots of smart plugs on the market today, I'm not going to lie. If you type it into Amazon, there are tons. Loads of them branded, unbranded, dodgy knockoffs and things like that. You know, I am in the Amazon ecosystem, I'm not going to lie. So therefore, this is perfect for me. But also, I'm in the smart things ecosystem as well. So, I've got one of these, um, which is a, a smart things smart plug. Um, so I've used this for a while, and I thought it would be a nice tool to compare this to the Amazon one and tell you which one I prefer. Full disclosure with the Amazon Smart Plug, uh, I didn't actually buy it. I bought myself another um, Echo Dot and this came with it free of charge. So um, I didn't pay for it, so it cost me nothing, but I am aware of the price of it. I do have a second one of these that I had the Christmas tree lights on and I use that every year. So I thought as I've got an opportunity to show you what this looks like box and then unbox, I thought I might as well. So step one, take a look at the front of the box. That's the product there says exactly what it is it's Amazon it works with Alexa you know what you're getting on the side it gives you the information indoor use only so you can't just bang it outside and use it for your uh, outdoor lights or anything like that come on be sensible about these sort of things uh, it tells you things you can do on the back so smart plug adds voice control to any socket you can schedule your lights fans uh, appliances anything you like your um, wish is its command shall we say and on the other side there's absolutely nothing so box out the way, let's open it up and let's take a look at what's inside. I don't know about you, but I literally love opening new tech because it's always so flash and fly. I love the easy access ones, you know, we have these little pull tabs which uh, you just pull, but it goes across. Reminds me a lot of uh, Apple products and things like that. So unsealed, open the top, we've got ourselves what's inside. Pull the little tab, here it is, the unveiling. So let's get it out. And there we go. There it is, the Amazon Smart Plug. What else we got inside? Oh, of course it is. Of course there's going to be some information. So let's take a closer look. Boom, cheeky edit. Yeah, I totally tipped it out and the uh, QR code was faced up. But that's censored so you can't be like hacking into my plug, turning it on and off. So here's the Smart Plug. Let's have a quick look at the instructions. I do like this. It's very plain, very straightforward. Here we go. LED on the front, which of course is there. We've got the manual on and off button, which I think is important for some people. We've got the uh, device, the light blinking advice. And set it up. You just go to the Alexa app and set it up. So that's the quick instructions out of the way. What have we got here? Oh, we've got all the other details. Nope, not really in that so let's take a close look at the plug and uh, let's get it all set up and see how it works first thing I notice about this is man it is a whopper that's the smart things one it is way smaller so immediately if size is important to you or sort of saving space is important to you you've got to go for the smart things one but then again it depends which ecosystem you're in I mean instantly I'm much more impressed with the smart things one in terms of size now this is solid plastic where this feels a bit more rubberized I mean you know in terms of feel it depends what you think on the side you've got a little button to click to turn it on and off or is that the Wi-Fi button I can't remember which but on the side of this one we got ourselves our massive button so you know if you've got a, an elderly relative who wanted to use one of these this is probably more convenient than the smart things one on the basis the button is a lot more reachable on the other side we've got nothing of course and on the back we've got the traditional three pin plug and um I ain't going to show you all that because all the details on here. However, what I will point out is that's got max 13 amp output. So what you don't want to be doing on one of these is sticking an extension cable, which is connected to an extension cable, which is connected to another extension cable. It ain't good for that. So use it for one device and one device only. For me, the biggest thing I'm going to use it for is well, it's actually for my girlfriend. She's going to have a, a lamp that she's bought that she turns on and off. So we're going to have it turning on probably at sunrise. I know you can do that on the Amazon app. I'll show you that. And uh, we'll turn it off. No, 
<laughs> sunrise, sunset, obviously. So when the sun goes down, the lamp comes on. So sundown, and then of course we'll have it turned off probably, I don't know, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock or something like that. So it automatically turns off. Um, so I know the Amazon one does that. I know the smart thing certainly can be timed. I'm not sure whether it can do a sunset or sunrise. So I'm going to have a quick look at it now. And uh, yeah, I'll be back. First things first, let's take a look at the Alexa app and see what routines and stuff you can get. So you enter a generic routine name for it. Uh, when this happens, so you've got different options, of course. You've got a schedule, so you can time it, sunrise, sunset, of course, at a time, and you can choose different days of the week. So, you know, you could have it just in weekdays if you wanted, which is pretty cool. You can also have a, you know, a voice, so you can give a phrase for A to say, so you can get your own custom thing, which is pretty cool, uh, so you don't have to have a generic thing. You can also have an echo button, turn it on and off if you've got one of those. Um, alarms if they're triggered, and you can use other smart home features to trigger this, which is pretty cool. So, for example, you might have a motion sensor, which will trigger, which will then trigger that on. So there's different features um, with that one. I do enjoy it. I think it's very straightforward to do. I think if you're not very tech savvy, this is probably the way to go on the on the fact it's very, very basic. It's very straightforward. You can't go very uh, wrong with this. So if you're looking for a simple plug, I'll go for the, um, the Echo one. However, let's take a look at smart things. Bringing the smart things plug into uh, into sight so you can see it there. You know you can obviously see the size difference again. For me personally, I think if you want something a lot more fancy with a lot more um, customization, should we say? I think the smart things one is for you. So this is an automation setup for you. So you can add conditions. So what's going to trigger that uh, plug on and off? So obviously time of day, device status. So if you've got any motion sensors like that, if you've got a location sensor, so like one of the little fobs, you could have something turn on if someone came home. Uh, location mode so if you turn smart things to home away anything like that um, you can trigger the, the um, socket and of course the bottom on there so if it's raining you could turn the lights on or you know I suppose if it's sunshine you could have a fan turn on or something like this there's just a lot more customization you can do in smart things but then I guess it really very much depends on are you in the smart things ecosystem or are you in the Amazon one I'm in both me personally, if you're looking for something complex, smart things, if you're looking for something straightforward and you know everyday use, I would go for the Amazon one. I think the last bit of the comparison has got to be the price because it's all about the minis. So a full RRP, uh, smart things one's going to set you uh, set you back twenty nine ninety nine, whereas this one's twenty four ninety nine. So a five pound difference. However, I will say with the Amazon one, it is always on sale. I would never pay full price for this because it's permanently going up and down, up and down. So if it's full price now, give it a couple of weeks, it'll come down. Or wait for the sales. You know the Black Friday sales come but once a year, but Amazon do the sales all the time, and generally they give these away free if you buy an echo so wait for that if you're considering one of these ultimately you know final decision which one to go for either of them they're both perfectly fine I mean, they, they both got the pros and cons if you're looking for a simple plug to get simple things done uh, Amazon one for you if you're looking for something more complex smart things but basically it ultimately ultimately boils down to which ecosystem you're in if you're in the Amazon ecosystem you're gonna go for that if you're in the smart things one you can go for that you can bring the smart things plug into the Amazon ecosystem, but you can't do the other way around. So there is benefits to buying that, but you know, you're gonna need a smart things hub and things like that. So for me, I'd go for the Amazon one. I'm not gonna put a star rating on it. Oh no, you're disappointed. I can hear the size and the oh no. Um, because I don't think it's fair to put a star rating on it. They both work exactly as you would expect them to do. It ultimately depends on uh, which ecosystem you've got. That's all that's going to make a difference here. Um, unless you want something super compact, in which case it's got to be the smart things one. I have no idea why this needs to be so big. It's way too big in my opinion uh, compared to the smart things one. One last thing before we uh, wind it up. I know what some of you are thinking. You've watched the video. You're already hovering over the thumbs down button because you're going to go, it's your band. You can use if this, then that, or you can use servers and Raspberry Pis and stuff to get them working on each other. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the simple man guide. This is what the video is. It's just for the average, everyday, regular, normal guy who doesn't want to spend thousands of hours programming stuff. You just want to plug it in and go. That's why I've made this review. If you're looking for something complex, check it out online. If you're looking for just the everyday thing, hopefully this has hit those, uh, those benchmarks for you. 
with that in mind, I want to say a big old massive mega deluxe thank you to each and everybody who subscribed to my channel. It means the absolute world to me. If you enjoyed my video or any of my content, press the subscribe button because I've got tons of reviews and stuff going up. It honestly means the world to me. And remember, the itchy band promise. If you uh, say you subscribe to my channel and you meet me in the street, yes, I will buy you a nice chilled can of Coke. If you enjoyed this video, <laughs> give it a massive thumbs up. Please post any comments in the comment section below. Uh, I reply to each and every comment. It means the world to me that people engage with my videos. Um, so post a comment. Say hi. Um, say if you've enjoyed it. You know, And if you've got any constructive uh, criticism or feedback, feel free to post it. I do appreciate that this video is very basic. You know, There are thousands of technical ways you can get extras out of these plugs. But I'm talking just the everyday, regular, normal guy. It's a great video. Search it if you've not heard it already. So with that in mind, I'm going to leave it there. Um, you know what I'm going to say. Look after yourselves. Take care of the people around you. And most importantly, stay out of trouble.